Hey everybody, Raymond here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Tuesday. I want to talk about the Z7 today. Now, I have not gotten a lot of time to use the Z7 because Lee has it, had it fully occupied since it arrived, but I have gotten a few seconds with it and I thought I'd get a few more, but the 35 millimeter f1.8 prime lens just showed up today. So I'm filming with the Z7 right now, and the moment I'm done filming, filming she's going to take it and run off with it. So I'll, t I'll, I'll work with you guys while I have you here. Now, the design of the Z7, I'm going to tell you about something that I didn't like before it came out, was it looked a lot like the Nikon V2, which to me was the ugliest camera I'd ever seen from Nikon at the time. <laughs> Never owned a V2. We do have a couple of V1s. But one thing in particular that I noticed when using the V... Uh, the Z7 is the rear command dial is like protruding from the back of the camera. In fact, you can get over the top of it and I'll do some close-ups here. It's very similar to the Leica SL that we had here in the lab recently, but the SL, it was even more, it was protruding entirely from the top. I don't know if any of you have run into this and maybe it's just my thumbs or something like that, but on traditional Nikon DSLRs with the rear command dial where you can't get over top of it. You just have to use the protruding part that comes out of the camera. I don't have one of those around right now. I'll demonstrate on the X100F. Um, sometimes I can't get it to move. I don't know if it's my thumb or maybe it's a hot day when it happens here in Arizona or something like that. And I really like on the Z7 that you can really get your hands around it. In fact, you can even get two fingers on that knob if you really just want to grab it and turn it. Um, but I've not had a problem getting my thumb pressed against it, maybe even a little over the top of the button and changing what, however I've got the rear command dial configured. It's a small thing, but it's a reason why I might pick up the Z7 more often compared to the DSLRs, especially it seems like, and I went on, on, on the forums just to take a look if it was just me, and I've seen other people say the same thing, where those traditional rear command dials, especially if the camera's been sitting for a while, uh, don't work real well. And the um, experience I've had is if I've been using it for a long time, maybe on a hot day, maybe there's a little bit of perspiration there and I just can't get that thing to turn and I try to dig into it with my fingernail and my fingernail bends back. Anyway, that was just a real quick hit for Tuesday, hopefully just two minutes of your time. And I'll talk to you on Thursday on my weekly show. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.